So the first thing I need to do, right, is just mark up my stereo net like always. So I want to mark my north and my south so I don't get lost, right? So that's the same thing I would always do with my stereo net. And again, all we're doing as far as our plotting is everything that we have already done before. And so I conveniently wrote these things down in my notebook so I wouldn't forget. But the first thing that I'm going to do, so this is for the little one that we measured. And so what we need to do is I am going to plot the strike and dip of my fault surface. So in order to do that, right, I'm at 0, 14, 61. So here is 14. I'll rotate that up to north. I will come in 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and 1. And I will make this line. I'm not going to reorient my migrate circle or my paper. I'm going to leave it where it is. And now what I'm going to do, if you guys remember when I was measuring that, I got 0.59 from the southwest. And so if I look at how I have oriented my uh, stereo net here, right, I've got two ends of my line, right? This is the strike line. This is the opposite. So all I'm going to do is count in 59 from the southwestern side of this. So I'm going to do this in the small circles, which are the little guys that go in, and I just need to go 59 degrees in. So this is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 9. And that is the line. I've now plotted it. So right, this is my trend and plunge. And so now all I have to do, if I want to figure out what orientation that is in, can rotate him whee, to east-west, just so I can have a nice line to walk it out. Right? I can mark, this is my trend. Here is 10, 20, 30, 40, 49 looks to be my plunge. So that trend and plunge is oriented at... 49 towards zero or 156. And that is my trend and plunge. The final step for how we would plot these, if I had a tops direction on that particular fault surface, which I gave you, I did say a tops, didn't I, when I was looking at that? Which way are my little teeth going? I think it's tops is going tops. to the east. Oh. Yep, tops is to the southeast. So I just draw that with a little arrow on my line. So these three things are fully defining my fault surface. This is the fault plane, this is the lineation, and that's the direction it was moving. So just these things on my stereo net is telling me everything I need to know about that fault surface. Thank you.